All right, I'm doing a bit of an emergency video for Ed. He's in, I don't know where, somewhere in the CA4, and he's dealing with passport stuff and visas, and I need to explain a few things. And so this is longer than I can do in a short, but I need to get it out right away because he needs it because he's about to expire in four days. And this is definitely information that he needs, and it's useful for people to hear this. So if you're not Ed, feel free to watch, but that's not why we're here. Um, so Ed says, hi, Scott, my 90 days in the CA4 country ends on the 27th next week. That's in four days from now. So just real quick, the CA4, he writes the C4, that's an explosive, but the CA4, the Central America 4, are Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, and Nicaragua. It's a single border zone, so when you enter one, you get 90 days in all of them, plus three extensions of 30, for a total of 180 days. But it is a shared zone. You can enter at any point, stay within the zone. So that it's like the Schengen in Europe basically, uh, but it does become a little bit confusing, just like it does in the Schengen, especially when you start talking about extensions. Okay, I did send in the online form three days ago and have yet to receive a code proof that they have received the form. So he's talking about the pre-approval form for entering Nicaragua. I don't know that this even applies if you're inside the border already. Like that's uh, meant to be a entering Nicaragua, like crossing the border thing, but there's not actually a hard border between any of the places, wherever it is that it is, we don't know, I think in El Salvador and here. So it's worth noting that that may not even be applicable. And lots of people don't use it when crossing the hard borders. That's the border of Costa Rica or flying into Managua. So um, I, I have no knowledge that you need this form. I would still advise doing what I did and try to get it, but it's it's not generally assumed to be required. Um, lots of people don't know about it and come in, and I don't know anyone who's been asked for it in a really long time. Um, I have crossed the border in recent history. They didn't ask me for it, and I didn't do it. So, uh, and I crossed the hard border, right? I came across in Costa Rica. I came in from South America, didn't need the form. So, um, and remember, I'm just a tourist for anyone who's like, but he's a, no, there's no, but he's a, like, seriously, I would have had to do the form if anyone did. Um, so he says, ah, uh, so I could cross by boat to Potosi. So the, what he's referring to, I assume, is the ferry from La Union, El Salvador to Potosi, Nicaragua, which is the tiniest port of entry you can possibly imagine. It's a fishing village on a peninsula in the northwest. Um, I have heard of people doing this, but I've never known anyone to do it in person. So this would be great if you did, Ed. Please film some of this and, and put some things together for me because I've never seen someone do this. And when I lived here in 2015, we tried to go to Potosi to see the port and you couldn't get through. The road was impassable. You had to have a four by four to even get there. Now there's a normal road, but it was not that long ago. This was impassable. So yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to do that. I do want to do that ferry at some point just to see how it is. I can't do it with my wife. She can't handle rough water. She gets terrible seasickness. So it's not an option at all for us. That would be quite a crossing, but it's really short. You can basically see the whole thing. So I'm really interested in how that is and how much it costs and how long it takes. I want to know everything. Film it. Let me know. Um, <clears throat> you said, he's talking to me, uh, you said they give you 180 days in Nicaragua. And then I wanted to go back by bus all the way to the Aurora Airport in Guatemala and fly from there at the end of May. Aren't they going to find me for not renewing my stamp 90-day stay in Costa Rica or any of the CA4 countries? Hopefully you can answer by Saturday night. I'll be taking the bus back to Mexico on Monday morning to be legal. Thank you. Okay, so first of all, if you're in the area and you need to be legal, you just cross into Costa Rica. That's super fast. Remember, Costa Rica is not part of the CA4. It and Mexico are the things outside the CA4. So if you need to renew something, you just cross into Costa Rica and you get another 180 days. So even if you only need another 10 days, that's what you do. You don't take a bus all the way back to Mexico. That will take you so long. You could make it to Costa Rica if you're somewhere in Nicaragua and be back in before your bus made it out of the country in most cases. So, so don't be thinking, like just make sure you know where your borders are um, for doing this. Okay, so uh, your 90 days is up on the 27th of February. That means if you were to do your 30 day extensions, you'd get another 90 days. That would get to the 27th of March, the 27th of April, the 27th of May, which seems to be about what you were saying. Did you give an exact date? You just said the end of May. So if we count it all up, it sounds like you would be, as long as you're leaving before the 27th of May, then this probably works. So we're probably okay from an extension, if you get all those extensions. 180 days in the CA4. So you should be okay, but you're pushing it right to the limit. Um, depending on when your flight is, it might be worth crossing the border into Costa Rica to just give yourself, like do an extension in Nicaragua, get 
you know, 30 days. So sometime in March, head down towards the end of March, go into Costa Rica and come back with a full 90 days to work with so you don't have any of those renewals to deal with. The problem that you're going to run into, and I don't know how this works, is that you need to get renewals where you are, but you're going to be entering Nicaragua needing a renewal. So that's not a great way to go. I'm not saying you can't do it. I don't know if you can do it. But coming into Nicaragua and saying, look, I just popped into Nicaragua, but my thing's expired, is not what they're expecting. You're not going to know what to do. Um, it's going to be welcome to a new country and immediately getting to Migracion and saying, I'd like to renew. And they're going to say, where do you where do you live? Where are you staying? And you're going to be like, I just got this hotel last night. And they're going to be like, mm, you're pushing your luck a lot. You should be renewing where you are and then coming into Nicaragua. Um, because you'll have established that you're there and you've been there for 90 days. Like just popping into Nicaragua is going to make anything you're doing wildly more complicated than um, just just renewing where you are. Because everywhere does this. I don't know that there's any place you can't renew for the 30-30-30. I know that Nicaragua and, and Guatemala do it. Um, I assume the other two do as well because it's one border zone. They all have to share the system. It would be weird if any of them didn't. So that's just, if you're in El Salvador, I, I assume from the Potosi comment, that just renew there, get your 30 days, and then pop into Nicaragua the next day. That should be fine. Uh, if you um so, so definitely you're at a spot where this is problematic right you used up your 90 days you've been moving around and now you're into the renewal period when you're in one of the countries it's no problem right well i've been in nicaragua for 90 days i'd like more time of course you do right but if it's a hey i didn't come to nicaragua on my vacation and now i'd like to they're probably going to give you a renewal but it's it is their discretion um, so I don't know. I don't know how that's going to play out. I don't know where you're going to do it. I think you're going to have to do it in Managua because the individual departmentos are going to be like, no, he hasn't been staying in my departmento. He doesn't count. The only reason I can do it in, in Leon is because I live in Leon. I I'm established. I did my 90 days in Leon so I can do my 30 renewal in Leon. So likely you have to go to Managua because you don't have a departmento to speak for you, um, to say, no, 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 we'll let him do it here. And there are some people who are just tourists who do it here and are like, oh, they wouldn't let me do it in Leon, and it's because they aren't established here. Um, now, it doesn't mean you're like living, living here. You could just be in a hotel. You could just be like, I've been staying in Leon a whole bunch. And uh, But if you're not staying in one place, if you're moving around, so you qualify as a non-stationary tourist, then they just expect you to go to Managua to deal with stuff uh, because you don't have a departmento to call your own. Um, so probably you're okay. Probably you just have to go to Managua and just do the thing, but you've got no time. Um, I, I assume that they're open on Monday and Tuesday. Monday is the 26th. Tuesday is the 27th. You have to be renewed by the 27th. So um, you basically, you have to get your paperwork done on Monday. That doesn't give you a lot of time to get into the country and get down to Managua. Of course, it can be done, right? But um, it, if you cross tomorrow morning, tomorrow being the 24th, you could get to Managua by night. Um, it, it wouldn't even be that late, right? I don't know what time the ferry is, but you're probably okay. So get to Managua. You'll be there on Saturday. You have Sunday to relax, figure out where Magracion is, and then get into Magracion on Monday morning and beg to be able to stay. If they give you any, any problems, then in Managua, it's easy to grab any one of a number of buses that go to the Costa Rican border. And all you have to do is just get over the border and come right back in. Um, and then you'll be all set. You'll have 90 days. Uh, and there'll be 90 days from the 27th. Honestly, that feels like it's cutting it too close. What I would do is go into Costa Rica, go to Liberia, and spend two or three nights. That'll extend you to the absolute end of May as your end of 90 days. So just do those couple of days. Enjoy Costa Rica for a few days. Go do something in Costa Rica if you want. Come back in. Get your 90 days. Um, and then you're good to go and you can just move through the entire zone with impunity. You don't have to worry about any extensions. Honestly, it might be simpler. If you don't do that, uh, then you're in the 30-30-30 renewal system, which if you're stationary-ish in Nicaragua or in Guatemala or whatever, is really easy and that's what you would want to do. But um, in the situation that you're in where you haven't been here, you don't know your way around and presumably you want to do other things and your final exit is out of Guatemala, um, you're going to want to have some flexibility. And I don't know how well Nicaragua is going to look at your final renewal. 
if it's out of Guatemala. They might be like, no, you got to renew in Guatemala because that's where your exit ticket is from. Uh, so uh, my recommendation is, is do the Costa Rica thing. Um, and if you want to like do Costa Rica, for sure, go to the beach, go to San Jose. Costa Rica is a great place, right? But it's not part of the CA4. So it's going to reset everything, give it a couple days, come back in on like uh, March 1st, right? So that in theory, it's April, May, June 1st or whatever. So if your flight is late or whatever out of Aurora, you don't run into any problems. That is my recommendation. Don't cut it this close and don't try to do roving 30-day renewals. Not that you can't, only saying that that will be really hard because you're going to be constantly going, okay, where am I now? I'm up in a day. I've got to renew. And then what are you going to do? Are you going to go back to Managua each time, that's a huge pain. Or are you going to try to do it where you are? I guarantee like, there's at least an 85% chance that an, a departmento that you have not been staying in for the entire 30 days is going to say, no, we, 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 don't, we can't do this. You have to be in Managua. It's not that Nicaragua won't give it to you. It's that they won't give you the, the pass to do it in your departmento because you don't have a departmento. Mine is easy, right? I, I'm always in Leon. I always renew in Leon. I come in at the border and say, I'm going to Leon. I have an address in Leon, which could be a hotel. For my first year, two years, my address was always a hotel. No problem. It's always the same hotel though, right? It's not, and it's always in the same town. It could move, but I'm like, I'm all, I'm heading to Leon. I'm renewing in Leon. I'm staying in Leon. And they're like, cool, Leon's your place. You can do everything in Leon. They're really good about that. But if you're like, oh, I'm just bouncing from town to town on my vacation, they're like, cool, great, awesome, do that. Enjoy Nicaragua, renew in Managua, right? That's just, that's how they, they basically do it. So maybe you'll get lucky and a departmento will give you a renewal, but I would not expect it. So the Costa Rica thing is the way to go. Going back to Mexico is super far, not worth it. I mean, Mexico is great, but that's really far away to just come back in. Costa Rica lets you do everything and the buses are cheap and easy. So just go over the border on the bus. If, you, if you're going to do it fast, go to Liberia, stay, come back. Um, if you need to, just have the bus drop you off on the Costa Rican side and walk back in. That's a pain because you got to orchestrate two buses. Um, and you, you do. Costa Rica requires you to have an outbound ticket. So the whole thing with Costa Rica is buy a ticket in plan your days and buy a ticket out. Have it all done through the same bus service. So when you come in and you're, they're like, where's your outbound ticket? You're like, it's this return on this bus. And they're, they get that all day long, no problem at all. No questions asked. So like, yeah, that's, that's how this works. Uh, my personal recommendation would be to go into San Jose and enjoy the big city because it really is a nice city. Hit the cocktail lounges, hit the food, do the museums, spend a little bit of time, walk around. It's, it's a beautiful city. But if you're into beaches and stuff, Costa Rica has those too. Um, whatever, right? They're saying, go do the the zip, the famous zip lines and all that stuff in Costa Rica. But definitely, I think trying to do 30, 30, 30 renewals while moving through Central America through the CA4 will be difficult. But make sure you know what countries are the CA4. You can't get this wrong or it's going to mess everything up. Um, and make sure you know where your, your 90 days actually ends because it's not, you know, a month date. It's actually 90 days. All right, Ed, hopefully that answers your questions and gives you a plan of attack and, and gets you able to handle being here um, one way or another. Um, and, and this is important when you're going to enter Nicaragua when they say, you know, oh, you don't have this paperwork. You can say, I filed many days ago. I'm about to expire and I have to get to Costa Rica. I'm going to pass through Nicaragua and then I'll, you know, be back and you have more time to approve my thing. Um, but you have a really good reason why you need to transit through. But I don't think they're even going to ask for it. That's, that would not be my expectation. And if you go to Potosí, probably. I've done Los Manos and ran into problems just because it was so remote that they're like, tourist, what do we do? And then it's like a big thing. Um, at Potosí, I have no idea how few people go through there. Um, but there's probably like one guy and you'll just be like, ah it'll be very casual because it's just, you know, what are you doing, right? You're not doing anything weird. Anyway, good luck with that. Uh, let us know if you get in, um, record that that whole process of Potosi and let us know how it goes. Thanks everybody for joining us. Like and subscribe. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, you know what to do. See you all tomorrow.